Ever wondered if you could travel back in time? What would you change? Let's explore this intriguing question through the lens of Toshikazu Kawaguchi's novel, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. Set within the quaint confines of a small Tokyo cafe, this enchanting tale spins the yarn of visitors who are offered a peculiar opportunity. A trip back in time. The catch? They must return before their coffee cools. A fascinating exploration of time travel, indeed. Now let's dive into the lessons this unique novel has to offer. Time is a precious commodity, isn't it? This is a question that resonates throughout the pages of Toshikazu Kawaguchi's novel, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. The first lesson we learn from this captivating story is about the importance of embracing the present moment. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, we often find ourselves lost in the labyrinth of our past or anxious about the uncertainty of the future. But the characters in this novel teach us a different approach to life. They show us that embracing the present, acknowledging the reality of our current circumstances, and appreciating what we have right now is a profoundly empowering experience. The novel beautifully illustrates that there is a certain magic in the now, in the present moment. It's about recognizing that the past can't be changed and the future isn't promised. So why not make the most of what we have right here, right now? After all, the present moment is all we truly have. What if you could go back and say sorry to someone you've wronged? Imagine having the chance to travel through time, to revisit the past and mend a mistake. In Before the Coffee Gets Cold, Kawaguchi presents us with characters who do just that, using their journeys to understand the immense power of forgiveness. Take Fumiko, for instance. She travels back to apologize to her boyfriend for leaving him without a word. In the process, she learns that forgiveness isn't just about saying sorry, but also about acknowledging our wrongs, making amends, and growing from our experiences. It's a powerful message, isn't it? It teaches us that forgiveness can heal wounds, mend relationships, and even help us find inner peace. Then there's Hirai, who seeks forgiveness from her sister, which ends up being a path to her own self-forgiveness. This highlights another vital aspect of forgiveness. It's not just for others, but also for ourselves. Remember, forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself. Ever wished you had expressed your feelings better? Before the coffee gets cold, serves up a potent reminder of the impact of communication. In its pages, we see the transformation that open, honest dialogue can bring to relationships and personal growth. Whether it's expressing love, regret, or simply sharing thoughts, the novel underlines the significance of these exchanges. It's a real-life lesson that can't be stressed enough. The words we choose and how we deliver them matter profoundly. So never underestimate the power of a heartfelt conversation. How do you deal with the loss of a loved one? This question, though simple, carries within it the weight of a thousand unspoken words, the echo of countless unshed tears. In Before the Coffee Gets Cold, Kawaguchi explores this question in depth, offering his readers a poignant lesson on coping with loss. The fourth lesson from the novel presents loss not as an end, but a part of the journey, a stepping stone on the path of life. It teaches us that grief, in its most authentic form, is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to love. It's a process, an intimate dance between remembering and letting go. In the face of loss, the characters in the book show us that it's okay to feel the pain, to drown in the memories, to let the tears fall. But they also show us that in time it's okay to smile again, to find joy, to continue living. It's okay to grieve, it's okay to remember, and it's okay to move on. This is the lesson that echoes through the pages of the novel, a gentle reminder to all of us navigating the labyrinth of loss. What would you do if you could spend one more moment with a loved one? This question, posed in the heart-wrenching narrative of Before the Coffee Gets Cold, introduces us to the fifth lesson, cherishing relationships. In the bustling rhythm of life, we often overlook the importance of spending quality time with those we hold dear. The novel beautifully illustrates this through its intricate storytelling reminding us that the moments we share with others are not just fleeting instances, but treasures to be cherished, 
Each conversation, each shared laugh, each tear wiped away, adds a unique layer to our relationships. These are the threads that weave the fabric of our lives, creating a tapestry rich with love, understanding, and shared experiences. Remember, the relationships we cultivate are not just about the time we spend together, but also about the love we pour into each moment. So, let's cherish our connections, celebrate our bonds, and make every shared moment count. After all, relationships are the most valuable things we have. What if you could go back in time and change something, would you? This question brings us to the sixth lesson from Before the Coffee Gets Cold, the inevitability of change. Change, like the steady tick of a clock, is constant and unavoidable. It's life's only certainty, apart from the final curtain call. In Kawaguchi's novel, our characters grapple with this reality. They learn that irrespective of the number of trips back in time, some events are destined to occur. They're part of a bigger picture, a grand design we're often unable to see until the puzzle pieces finally fall into place. But along with the inevitability of change comes the power of choice. While we can't control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. We can choose to resist and struggle against the tide, or we can adapt, grow, and find new ways to thrive. Change is inevitable, but how we deal with it is up to us. So, what would you do if you could travel back in time? Let's ponder on this as we wrap up our tour through Toshikazu Kawaguchi's thought-provoking novel, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. We journeyed together through eight poignant lessons, each one a testament to the human spirit and its resilience. We learned the importance of embracing the present, of forgiving, of clear communication. We delved into coping with loss, cherishing relationships, and accepting the inevitability of change. Each lesson a thread, woven into the fabric of life. As we part ways, I hope you'll carry these lessons with you. Reflect on them, apply them to your own life. Perhaps, like a cup of coffee getting cold, they'll serve as a reminder. A reminder that life is fleeting, that moments are precious, and that the time to live is now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your friends. Until next time, remember, before the coffee gets cold, make every moment count.